Built in 2006 and chosen as one of the best new courses of 2007 by Golf Digest, the Manor in Farmville is a new lease on life thanks to Trezzle Golf, the management group run by General Manager Doug Train and Superintendent Mike Zelli. Trezzle has helped the Manor secure its 10-year future by investing in upgrades ahead of the 2020 season. The Manor will host a VSGA 4-ball and Senior 4-ball qualifier on April 30th. Here's a look at the course's closing four holes. The par 3 15th hole. From the back tees, the 15th can stretch to 200 yards. From the tee, players see about three quarters of the green due to the bank down the left side of the hole. Water running down the right side of the hole and a bunker flanking the right side of the green will challenge players. The par 4 16th hole. From the back tee, the bunker on the left is 245 yards uphill to reach. The confident player will take it between the two bunkers and lead themselves with an approach of less than 100 yards to an accessible green. Heading to the 17th, the dog leg left par 4 can play to 420 yards from the back tees. From the back tee, the bunker on the right looms 253 yards away. Aim left of the bunker, leaving an approach of about 175 yards to a green from which approach shots coming up a few yards short roll back to a collection area in front of the green. The par 5 closing hole offers a great risk reward birdie or eagle opportunity for the player or side feeling like they need another shot back. The downhill tee shot is 248 yards to carry the bunker on the left and 280 yards to reach the bunker on the right. From there, the player is faced with the decision to go for the green from 235 out with a 185 yard force carry or to lay up out to the left and leave between 150 and 100 yards. Beware the bunker that protects the back left hole location. Either way, the final four holes at the manor present as many opportunities to get inside the cut line as they do to miss a cut.